Welcome back to our midday broadcast of Expresso. We're continuing our very interesting discussion with relationship and family counsellor Mimi Hewitt. And we're talking about family bonding and the importance of one-on-one -on -one time with your kids in particular. Although all relationships can benefit from a little one-on-one -on -one time, um, especially our adult relationships. Mimi, some gems I, I was able to pick up from your conversation. So I'm, I'm thinking about how I can fill my own cup up mm. um, so I can fill the smaller cups of my, of my kids. But yeah. lockdown has taught me that there is, there is a depth of relationship that you can have with your kids that that is it's never ending and I, mm. I want that I want my children to grow up thinking that they ha they can talk to me about anything that we have mm. that connection mm. and we might not in my case have a lot of quantity in the amount of time that mm. we get to spend that one-on-one -on -one time but do we focus then on the quality of it which is more important the quality absolutely um, especially now with COVID-19 where many parents were forced to work from home you would be with your child all day but not necessarily be spending with the quality the time yeah. so the quality is much more important um, whether it's five minutes um, that's better um, and research actually showed that um, spending lots of time with with your child while being stressed and overwhelmed <laughs> um, overworked underpaid you know all of that <laughs> Basically um, is, 20, actually, 20, yeah? <laughs> is actually more damaging wow. than spending shorter periods of time where you are relaxed in and a, having in a, a good state time of mind. yeah that makes a lot of sense the big question for me, because I'm not a very structured person, um, and my boy seems to respond so well, unstructured and structured, there seems mm. to be a time and a place. So how do we approach our one-on-one -on -one time? Should it be structured or should it be free play? It doesn't have to be structured. Um, it depends on your personality. So if that's something that works for you, then great. Um, what I would say is it's good to plan it though. Um, because planning special time with your child also creates that sense of importance sure. to them. So um, that's a good thing to um, at least, whether it's a once a day, once a week, once a month, once a year, but if it's something that's planned, it's something that they can also look forward to. Yeah, involve them in that planning process because yes. kids really do look forward to things and mm. then it's, it, it changes the narrative, I think, because suddenly yes. your week is about going to Newlands Forest on that Sunday or it, yes. it creates a different, different element. Then once you're engaging in that space, if it's unstructured, who should lead? Do you follow their lead? Do they follow yours? You know what? Let them lead. If they want to play Lego, you play Lego. If they want to go for a walk, go for a walk. Um, uh, for them to be able to also have a kind of a say in what we do also makes them feel much more special. So let them lead, let them decide, and then if it's a pillow fight, it's a pillow fight. Yeah, man, you bring your game, <laughs> bring your A game. Now, I think that's especially uh, important with my three-year-old. Him feeling like he's got some autonomy, some kind of say, mm. it makes a massive difference. Mm. Um, uh, what happens then when you're having one-on-one -on -one time with one child and the other child now, how do you get them mm. to understand that this is about that connection, yes. but they're not being left out. Especially um, explaining that to a three-year-old. <laughs> yeah, <no>? exactly. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Jealousy is an emotion and it's fine. We don't have to fear the emotions. Okay. We just need to acknowledge them. Talk to them, listen and understand how they feel. And then once they feel understood, they're going to feel loved and accepted. And then they will be able to find a win-win solution to the problem. Forget about the kids. That'll work with us. That'll work <laughs> in any relationship. But hopefully that'll add depth to the relationship you share with your child. Make sure you're looking after yourself. But then put that time and energy and focus into the relationship that you share with your child.